Yo, people. Or fellow game designers or developers. Or what's up? Anyway, um, I just wanted to show a few tips on how you can make some kick-ass particles to go with your kick-ass game. Um, basically, here, here's, uh, here's my particle, uh, system. I made, a GUI and all that. It's all about the GUI. I mean, that's the biggest part. That's how you make these pretty cool effects. This is just like a background smoke effect right here, but, uh, it's pretty cool. Um, I got other little things little blood squirt some uh you know when you like shoot some dirt glass breaking I'm still working on that one dust you can't really see it let me sh let me uh some of these are hard to see but you can see them in the game um Explosions. I like that one. Smoke bomb. That one's kind of messed up. But you get it. Wood chunks. But it, it all really is about the uh, GUI because this uh, particle system right here, is, the foundation of it is from XNA Creators Club. And I just heavily modified it like basically all these properties are modifications um, like you can do and I mean you can you can create something like this oh there we go oops yeah there's so many that uh, it's destroying my computer but let me see here. Circle. Oh, craziness. Let me see. Def no. I'm looking for a circle. No, not a circle. A particle. Well, let me do a spark. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Let me put some blood in here. <laughs> Particles per second. So we don't want it that many. So I'm going to put like... should look more like squirting... Uh, yeah. Well, that's kind of what I was going for. But you get the drift. Anyway... So what you can do is if you, there's three samples on XNA Creators Club that I want you to check out. So if you go, or I guess it's called App Hub now. If you go to App Hub, look up the particle sample. This is probably info that you already know, but one thing, here's the particle. So if you download it, after you go to the education area, um, after you download it, you'll get this video, or not video, but sample. And it's pretty good, you know. It's got some cool techniques. But I'll tell you, the, uh, the one that really helped me, and I used the file saving format and a lot of their uh, you know different uh, variables was the net rumble so if you come to the website you look up net rumble it's got a whole bunch of features in there that are actually pretty cool um, that you can learn off of so here it is it's a little jet game I'm not making a a jet game but even if you're not the particle system is pretty good and it's a good start so let me uh let me fire it up I'll show you what I mean 
Here's the game. Alright. Get the game pad out here. But, man, like, let me crash my ship and then you can see. I mean, that's pretty good, right? The respawn, I mean, it's got some pretty good particle effects. Little puffs of smoke. Okay. Well, anyway. You get the drift. So, let me check out the, uh, the code here. If you look at these XML files, that's what I'm talking about. If you go to... Just check out this whole game, really. I mean, this is kind of a weak tip, but... Oh, right here. Particles. Bam these files really good info check them out if you look in here I mean you can check out like that's what I was talking about the opacity the minimum um, but yeah it's all around about the also to make your GUI if I almost forgot is check out this WinForm samples if you go here at pub Wind forms or one word wind forms. Check out this sample. I mean it's I mean this might not be what you're you know, but you got drop downs and stuff. You know. So if you're familiar with wind forms, you can use this to create a kick ass a kick ass uh particle GUI um, like if you were looking at it that uh, you got particle count particles per second color I added this this color uh, beginning and to end I added uh, the curve here little curve editor for uh, opacity and the size over time I added that. The percentages um, are based off the values, but but yeah, everything's there that you need in those samples to make a pretty stunning uh, particle effect. Um. Anyway, have a good one. I'll talk to you later. Bye.